Lord, you had told the apostles that they may be witnesses of the gospel in Jerusalem and Samaria and Judea until the ends of the earth. And we see in this first reading how they are persecuted by the Sanhedrin and the high priest for having filled Jerusalem with the teachings of our Lord. They did it out of obedience to the word of the Lord for them. And only from that angle can we understand the response of Peter. First, we have to obey God and then man. Peter, isn't he demolishing? Peter here is not demolishing authentic authority given to men and women. What Peter is exalting is that the will of God is first that the true representatives of God are also in harmony with the, the will of the Lord. We want to ask you in this Eucharist, Lord, as we receive it spiritually or sacramentally, that we may not manipulate your word. Here, what you're calling us to is obedience to your holy will that is never separated from authentic mediation of authority that God gives to men. Here, Peter is speaking about men and women who are against the will of Christ. We ask you, Lord, that we may never be against the will, your will, that we may know how to listen to your authority or the authority delegated by you to those whom you have placed over us, and that we may do exactly what we are asked. 